What is going on guys? Welcome to Revit Step. If you're just visiting or you just clicked on the video, please subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me. You guys have probably seen this everywhere, especially the third generation Coyote engines uh, in these cars. They tend to tick and you guys have heard this topic everywhere around the place. Everyone talks about it on YouTube. And mine, my old car had a specific tick. It didn't have the actual dreaded BBQ tick or whatever you want to call it or a typewriter tick. I want to say it kind of has a typewriter tick, but it's a different one. And this one has the same thing. So I've been thinking lately, it could be the injectors. This one is a little bit more pronounced. I don't know if it's because it's a manual or anything like that, but it's a little bit more pronounced. And what actually it is, is you don't hear it on the outside of the car. It's only heard inside the car, which is very, very weird. Basically what happens is when, you, when you're driving and let's say you're in any gear, you can be in first, second, third, any of those gears. If your tech is anywhere between 1200 to about 3000 RPM, you hear this like, um, it almost sounds like a lifter tick very very similar to it and it goes away if, if for example I step on the car uh, I'm guessing maybe oil gets into other crevices or anything like that the tick goes away but if I'm driving normally about 1200 to 2000 3000 rpm you can hear the tick it's very pronounced I'm gonna try and capture a video here in a second but I purchased Ceratec a lot of people online say this works I want to try and see if this bottle works we'll find out together and again, as I mentioned, I'll try to uh, I'll try to capture the noise with you guys. It's very actually you can probably hear the noise around this area. Oops, uh, you can you can definitely hear the noise around this area around here, which is close to the back of the engine, basically. So I'm very interested if this Ceratec actually works out. If the Germans has actually solved our our issues with our cars, maybe they have, maybe they haven't. But anyway, let me try and see if I can record uh, the video for you guys or the sound effects. So bear with me. As you guys know, this is a manual car, so it's a little bit hard for me to hold the camera and record stuff, but I'll try to do my best. Okay, so here we are. So basically what happens is, and I'm a little bit sweaty, I just washed the car, but basically what happens is at low gear, I guess, one, first or second, even third, you hear this ticking, and I'll try to record this as best as I can right now. So here we are, first gear, release the brake, start going very slowly. And you guys can hear it, it's about anywhere between 1200 and 2000 RPM. So do you guys hear that? That that is the that is the tick that I'm talking about. That is what the car sounds. Uh, in a way, it's it's a bit annoying. So I want to fix that. It just sounds like a like a lifter ticking or something like that. But in a way, I want to fix that. So anyway, I'm going to add some uh, Ceratec and uh, then we'll see how it goes. I'll drive the car for a little bit and I'll let you guys know. I want to apologize to you guys in advance. It's very windy outside. The door almost got me in the freaking shin. But anyway, don't demonetize me YouTube. Here's the Ceratec. This is what I got. It's 300 milliliters, which I read on the back. It says the 300 milliliters, I believe it said it's about 5.28 US quarts. That's what it would treat. I believe the S550 Mustang is about eight quarts. That's what it's recommended to put in the car, which this would treat about 5.2 quarts. So I'm gonna use the whole bottle. We'll see how it goes. You should preferably use a bottle and a half. I just wanna make sure it fixes the, the tick that the car, ooh, damn, it's really hard to say it fixes the, you wanna say the thick. It's not really thick, it's a tick. So I just wanna see how it fixes the tick, if it does in any way. Uh, I, I have hopes. There's people online that said it works for their cars. So I have hopes it work for this car. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, why the car does that. I was driving, again, as I was saying, I was driving up the parking lot here. And you could hear it uh, at, in first gear at about 1.8 uh, thousand RPM. It had the, that, uh, the noise. So I'm very interested to see how this would help, if it helps at all. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the oil, make sure I have enough oil, and then I'm gonna add this. 
Okay, let's check the oil. The car, the engine is a little bit hot because I just got done driving after washing the car. Uh, but let's see what it has. So the way you guys check the oil is just don't even look at it the first time you pull it out. Just wipe it down, and then then check check the oil. Just the first the first look. You don't even need to look at that. So let's see what it has. So as you guys can see, the oil is looking good. You can see it's it's about, I believe, if I'm looking correctly, it's about here, it's about halfway. I just got done driving. The car hasn't even sat for five minutes, so oil is still in the engine. So I believe we're good with the oil. So we're good to add this. And I'm not sure how many of you guys know, but Ford actually in the trunk have a funnel for you guys. So you don't need to uh, buy an actual funnel from the store. It's not, it's not great. It's not a perfect funnel. But it's very convenient. So the way you add Ceratec, and Ceratec is coming from Liquid Molly. It's it's basically it's supposed to say on the back. It says it reduces the friction and wear on engines and transmissions. The special structure of the ceramic particles fills in the microscopic irregular, irregularities in the metal and prevents direct metal to metal contact. So based on the description, if what people are saying with this text where there's maybe some irregularities in the engine or the measurements are not done correctly, this is supposed to fill those issues. Hopefully. We'll see if it works. So you basically just pour it inside the engine. You can set up your funnel and let's unbox it because this is an unboxing channel. You know how it goes. You gotta, if you can't be the best, you gotta try and beat them. Oh shit. Yeah, that's, let's see if we can get that. Scratchy, scratchy. Oh, hot. So here's what actually dropped. It's it's a little uh, Ceratec when it was applied, you know, change and such like that. I don't need that. And I I scratched the shit out of my arm trying to get it. Oh well. Let's let's open this bad boy up. Oh. Ah, it sprayed me in the face. So I'm trying to sniff it. It basically smells like oil and coolant mixed together. And just being very very careful with the beautiful funnel that Thor gave us, you can see it's a perfect fit. So there we go, we put the whole bottle in. Let's put the funnel back in. So I'll show you where this funnel goes. And again, sorry guys about the wind, it's crazy out here. But the funnel basically goes in here, where your spare tire is supposed to be. I don't have a spare tire, so I have this uh, fix the flat kit. Hopefully I never go and get a flat. And then it's just like right here. So it basically goes to a little nipple right there. There you go. All right, let's see how the first star goes. Very, very well, actually. I almost want to say it's quieter than when I had it previously. Previously, when it idled, you could hear different noises. I don't want to say this product works super fast because I'm not sure yet, but the car is super quiet and the engine seems to be running super smoothly. I mean, you guys, you can't even hear a peep. I'm telling you that the engine noise has been reduced tremendously. Maybe people on YouTube are correct. I have no idea. But I wouldn't know until I take the car for a ride. So let's do that now. When I was driving up to the top of the garage building, uh, the car was making noise. I drove it down a few floors. I could not hear the same noise. So let's go ahead for a ride up the, the two floors to the top and let's see what we hear. So again, we'll put it in first gear and you guys before you guys heard the, I guess the clicking or the ticking or whatnot. So let's go. Let me, let me actually put my seatbelt on. All right, here we go. So before when I used to drive the car around the garage, about this right here, it will start making noise. And right now, I believe I can only hear the actual injectors firing, which is great, great, great news.
Yep, I don't hear a peep. Guys, I don't hear anything. I believe we might have fixed the car. I'm not sure 100%. Obviously, I'll drive the car every day. Tomorrow, I'll have cars and coffee. So I'm going there. I'm going to listen to every single noise it makes. But I believe this might have helped. This might have solved my issue, which is so good. I'm so happy. Again, I'm not saying the Ceratec will fix everyone's issue. As you guys can tell, certain cars have real issues where their engine is actually defective. I hope mine is not defective. I, I have no idea. I mean, again, I'm not, I'm not planning on tuning this car anytime soon. I'll do specific mods, but I'm not going to touch the powertrain. The car might might it should stay stuck until i'm ready to supercharge it which i have another video coming up that i'm going to talk about the future of this car i don't want to give out too much away Ceratec might not be for everyone it might not fix everyone's problems i'm pretty happy with the purchase i'm glad i tried it it was only 17 bucks so it's worth a shot it's worth if you can fix some of the rattle that your car makes that your brand new car makes it's worth the shot i'm not sure what ford's idea is saying that is normal I believe some of the noises could be normal, but some of it might be actual defective engines. We will never know. However, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. That means a lot to me. Please drop a like on this video. Hopefully it gives you a guidance of one simple choice that maybe solve your uh, tick or BBQ rattle or whatever you want to call it. I, I do hope that helps some people out. It helped me so far. I'm not sure. It's still too soon. The car, the engine does work a lot better. Uh, what I mean by better, it's a lot more quieter. So we'll see where this leads. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for your time and I'll see you guys later.